I shall read from the book of Ephesians. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Verse 1. The heading is salvation by grace through faith in Christ. It reads as follows. And you, he made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walked according to the course of the way of this world and you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walked according to the course of this world. We shall couple this verse with the book of 1 Corinthians. First uh, Corinthians chapter 3 chapter 3 starting from verse 16. Do you, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy. Is holy. Which temple you are? Do you know that you are the, you are the temple of God? And that the Spirit of God dwells in you. If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple you are? I just want you to understand exactly what Apostle Paul is saying here. Let's start by trespasses. You were dead in trespasses and sins. A trespass is not the same thing as a sin. But they are quite related and similar. What is the difference between the two? You trespass against a person. Once you trespass against God, then you are sinning. Any trespass that you make against God is a sin. That's why, that's why Paul defines a sin as a, trans, as a transgression against the law of God. If you transgress against the law of God, then you are sinning. But what is trespass? It's trespassing against a human being, a fellow human being. If we are talking about trespassing, you will remember once you enter a property, one's property, without his permission, that is a trespass. 
Once you enter into one's business without his permission, you are trespassing against that person. Each and every human being has his own business on earth. You have, if you have children, you can allow children to talk with you in a certain manner up to this degree. But they cannot pass to your private business. Immediately you enter private businesses of other or fellow brothers. You are, you are trespassing. When you talk ill of your fellow brother, you are trespassing. When you accuse your fellow brother, you are trespassing. It is not a sin, but it denotes that you are dead in love. Once you are dead in love, you are no good for God. Because God doesn't use dead people. He used people that are alive. That's why we were brought to be alive first before we were used. Because the God that we are worshipping is not a dead God. In the book of Corinthians, Paul says, Do you know that you are a temple of God? A, a temple is a place of worship. Immediately you receive the Holy Spirit. You become a place of worship. And once you are a place of worship, you can only worship God. You cannot worship God people, but God in that temple. Once you bring the names of other people and talking ill of other people, then you are bringing into the temple of God that which is not of God. Then you are defiling the temple. Because in the temple, we preach the gospel. We worship God. We make good God good because he's a good God. Immediately, being a brother or a sister, you talk ill of another sister or brother, let alone an officer. Then you have defiled the temple. And God says, he who defies a temple will be destroyed. In other words, my fellow brothers and sisters, if you continue talking ill of your fellow brother or fellow sister accusing him, in which image are you? Are you in the image of God who is love or in the image of the devil who hates? Look at the message that you care for to other people. If you have hatred against your fellow brother or sister, no, your officer. That simply means what you have, the message you are carrying is death unto human being and unto yourself. In other words, you are destroying yourself because the same scale you you the, the same scale you use against your fellow brother will be used against you. Let me tell you one thing that I'm sure you don't know. Do you know that we are all we are all related here? Not in spirit only, but by blood. There's a, a, a grand grandfather called Sibiside who gave birth to Lamini, to Zulu, uh, who gave birth again, to Njanya, who gave birth to 
Who, who else? Okay, I'll remember them. But once you come to, to Zimbabwe, Zimbabweans are a product of the Zulu nation. And all of you, you are Zulus. I'll tell you why. When Shaka was fighting a lot, those warriors who were peace-loving moved from Zululand. And others went to Bulawai. That was a soldier. Undebele was a soldier. And a Zulu soldier. And those who followed him and Debeles are, are, are Zulus. But because they followed Debele, they are called Debeles. A soldier called Soshangan, who is from Shaka again, moved to Mozambique. And Soshangan, those who for those Zulus who followed him became Mashangan, named after him as the leader and the warrior who led them to that land. Those are Zulus. Ashona is a product of Ndebele and Chamandebele and uh, a Mozambique so Shanga. That's why you have Tine Shona comes from Shangan. Shona, you know, Papana Shangan. That product of those people born out of Zulus. Because so Shangana is a Zulu, and Debel is a Zulu, and both of them have their own language, and Shonas derive their own language too. With the influence of those who are nearby them, who are also Zulus, the, the vendors, we are all Zulus here. In different shapes, that's all. We are all of the same blood of Sibisinde. Who is our grandfather. And all of us, whether we are Kosa or what, Bondomi, so all these good nations that side, they all belong to one source. On moreover then, if you don't like that, you are, we are from the same source again. Because God spared only the family of Noah. He spared only Noah and his family. Whether you are pink or white, we are related by blood. Because we come from Noah. The only person and his family that was spared by God during judgment. Now, that simply means, therefore, we are not only brothers by blood, by, by spirit, but we are also brothers by blood. Whether you are white, pink, or red, that's why we speak of a human race, not of races. We speak of one human race and one God. Now, if you know that your fellow brother is really your brother and your fellow sister is really your sister, why speak ill of him? Who in this area doesn't make a sin? When you have offended a person, what do you expect from that person? Do you expect him to reprimand you? Or you expect him to forgive you? What do you expect?
is forgiveness. Those people you will speak of, therefore, even if they have done those things which you accuse them of, they still need forgiveness from you. And if you agree that you are created in the image of God, it simply means, therefore, you ought to have the mind of God. And the mind of God teaches us to forgive those who trespass against us. The question is, why don't you forgive those who trespass against, against you? If you are in the image of God, if indeed you are a real servant of God, why do you compromise yourself? by degrading yourself, by ill-speaking other people. You know, the main thing for coming to God, Matthew 10, verse 40, Jesus says, he who receives you, apostles, receives me and receives the one who sent me. If an apostle has received Jesus Christ, he ought to receive another apostle. He can't speak ill of another apostle if he has received Jesus Christ. That is a norm. If therefore you are in the image of these apostles, you ought not to act different from them. If apostles cannot ill speak each other, why do you? But do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand the temple of God? A person, once he has received the Holy Spirit, in whose favor is he? He is in God's favor. And he is a place where in God can be found. Because the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. He has come here to unify us. He has come here to teach us to forgive each other. He has come, uh, he has come here to make us the perfect and living body of Christ. Where there's the living body, there are no accusers. Where are these accusations come from? Who taught you this? Has God taught you to accuse people? Who taught you this? Do I sound clear? Okay, fine. If God, okay, let me approach this thing this way. This is what God did. He took Abraham and blessed him. And thereafter, he said, Abraham, Abraham, those those who bless you, I will bless them. And those who curse you, I will curse them. Now, who is cursing you? Are you not cursing yourself by cursing Abraham? Who is Abraham today? Your fellow brother and your fellow sister. He has been brought here and he was blessed by God, by the Holy Spirit. And he became a temple of God, a living place, a dwelling place of the Spirit of God. Now, if now you define that temple, if you define your fellow sister and your fellow brother, what are you doing to your soul? Can you still pray? This prayer that Jesus gave his apostles that forgive me my sins as I forgive them that trespass against me. If this person has trespassed trespass against you, why don't you forgive him? 
because you you've been given only one tool the only one tool we have is the love of god and if we use that tool it will teach us to forgive those who transgress, who transgress against us do i make myself clear why are you so same makango you look depressed because you think of your own sins you know whatever you do you must know that i'm listening to you there's no one here that can think that i don't know what he said But we are not here to punish or judge you. We are here to teach you to be able to to take this word of God further to other places to different places. You can't do that being cursed. So we can't curse you. But we'll teach you to 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 be able to escape this curse because once you are in this curse uh, you 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 talk ill of other people the same scale you use against them will be used against you and you won't like it the best thing that you can do is to forgive those who trespass against you
Let's come to a sin. Adzokei kuchivi. Trespasses. Kudarika. Are done against people. Kuna itu wakubanu. Because these people. Nukuti wanawa. Are a temple of God. Itembere ya mwari. When you defile now that temple. Paono ngoresa tembere ii. You are defiling God. Urku ngoresa o mwari. And God will destroy you. Mwari wano kuparazi. But let's come now to a sin. Hati we kuchivi. Oh. Kana kuti. Being destroyed by God doesn't mean that you will die as such. But you will be frustrated in all your attempts to ask to succeed. You will be frustrated. You will not have peace on earth. And once you are that, you are in that. You are in a living hell. You live in hell. And whatever you try to attempt to do will be frustrated. There's a lot of things that God do. There are lots of things. You no, know, I remember the day the, judge, the first judgment came. There was drought. And when the water came, which is what people needed most during that time, people praise God because finally the water has come. Lest they knew that this water is coming to destroy them. God can give you a lot of money which is going to destroy you. He can give you a lot of what you, 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 you like most. And you be destroyed you by the right. same thing. Look at what happens to a fly. A fly will get to a milk. And that's where the, his own death is. And once he gets to the milk, because he see, he's seeing a lot of milk today. He's going to be rich. His stomach could be full. He's going to, he's going to, feed, to feed itself. And the end result is death. Dying in what you call blessing. You see, when God destroys you, he gives you, he gives you all what you think you like. And you get destroyed by, by the same thing you like. It is when you are being destroyed. When you are destroyed, God doesn't kill you. He makes you not to have peace whilst living. You will live for nothing whilst on earth. Some of the things that you say, it's a bad luck. It is not. It's your blessing. But your blessing is always reversed. To be bad. You, you can't even be able to enjoy what God has given you. We call that destruction. Let's talk about the sin. Sin is trespassing against God. How do we trespass against God? You are a brother and a sister here. And your field ends up with your fellow brothers. You are not given the authority to look into your officers. And even the, the law officer cannot look up to look faults of the, 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 the senior officer. In other words, God has given you a scope Immediately now, you talk ill of your fellow brothers. You are transgressing against God. Because God had said, 
Thou shall love your fellow brother. He said to the apostles, I give you a new commandment that you love each other. When apostles do not love each other, they are sinning because they are transgressing against God's law. And you too, when you leave your premises to hate your fellow officer that has been sent to you, you are transgressing God's law, which says, listen to this one. Uh, he will teach you whatever me as an apostle wants you to know. Now, if now you fight against your officer, you are actually fighting against me. You are actually fighting against the one who, who, who sent me. You are actually fighting against God. You are sinning. In the same manner, if an officer ill treats a fellow congregant, a brother or a sister, he is sinning against God because he, he has been sent only to shepherd this flock. When you shepherd the flock, you feed the flock with good food, which is the green pastures. You wish the best for your, fam for, for your congregation. You don't fight against the blessing that God has given them. You wish that the best can be upon them. That's why you are commanded to bless the community. You have no mouth or words to use against the congregation that God has given you. The only thing that God has given you are the blessings That's, that must be showered into the congregation. In the same manner, you sin against God as an officer when you curse the congregation that God has given you. It's like cursing the child that God has given you. Because that child comes from God. If you curse that child, you are actually cursing God because that is the love of God that he has displayed unto you. Good people, do you hear what I'm saying? Huh? In the same manner, when the youth of this church is discussing the officials in an ill-speaking manner, then they are falling into a sin because these are the officers whom God has given them. And in the same manner, you are a community whom God has given unto us. We need to treat you with good hands and good mouth and good mind. If that seed is sown unto you of goodness, we ought to rip that seed and from you. A sin and a transgression are similar but not the same. But the result is the same because it destroys you. And the best thing is to run away from both of them. If you love, that's why the love of God it is not to look at the shape of a person and say, I love him. No, 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 no. The love of God comes from keeping God's commandments. 
And God has commanded that here is Chimombe. He is going to lead you. Whether you are an apostle or you are what? As long as you are a congregation, here, here is Chimombe. And he blessed him. He, he never chose him because he was a good person. No. You were never chosen. God never chose you too because you are good. Because we were dead in trespasses and in sins and he made us alive. We all have the bad beddings that were that God has removed from us. So there's no one here who can tell me that is better than the other. What tells you that you are better than Chimombe? Uh, he may have his own shortcomings. But let me tell you, his shortcomings are better than your weaknesses. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, if you, you were this better than him, I think God could have chosen you. Why were you not chosen? Because you were there. It's just because his shortcomings are better than yours. You know what? We work every day. And we get persp perspiration every day. And the same, the same, 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 same water that comes out of us constitute what we call dead. No one makes you dirty, but it's something that comes out of you that makes you dirty. But if you don't wash, that would be trans transformed to a smell, a bad smell. Now, no one has given you that bad smell. It's only yourself. To avoid that, we are taught to go and wash. And we don't wash today and say tomorrow we, we, we have been washed by, we have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus. No, no, that the blood of Jesus has to cleanse you every day. That's why you are given an officer. The priest is there for that. Now, if you don't take this opportunity and get your bath and wash, you are going to smell. And when you smell, you will repel a lot of people from you. And people will be running away, not because they don't want you, but because of what you are smelling of. When you file, your discontent against your sister and not approach here to discuss this discontentment, you, you will end up hating him or hating her. And that hate now will destroy you because God is love. And once you become hate, then you are a devil. Because I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. This is the behavior of people. They discuss a person negatively. And after that person approaches that one who was discussed, who was ill-spoken by them, without even telling him that hey, we have been speaking ill of you. Once they see you just laughing with this person, they hate, they say, you are telling him what you were discussing. They will start hating you without you uh, div divulging what they have spoken. And then you are the number one enemy of those people. And it continues. This will make us enemies at the end. 
You find even friends. Fighting. Over nothing. Do you know why? They don't wash. Cleansing, cleansing, <laughs> cleansing. <laughs> cleansing. <laughs> if there's something uh, that has hurt you, go to the person that has hurt you. Discuss this thing. He will ask forgiveness. Forgive him. Who are you not to forgive? Because we have done many sins again. If, God, if you want God to forgive you, forgive to trespass against you. Let me tell you the benefit of forgiving. Jesus said, the apostles, if you forgive those who your fellow brothers, God will forgive you your sins. In other words, the forgiveness of sins depends on you. If you forgive those who, 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 who trespass against you, then God will forgive you your trespasses. It's not the other way around. If therefore God is going to forgive us our sins, only when we forgive our fellow brothers, why don't we forgive our fellow brothers? Let me tell you this. There's nothing so dangerous amongst men, amongst men as hating. Because the hate is opposing the love of God. Let me tell you this. Maybe you don't understand. There's no one who has never blessed. In the book of Jeremiah, what God says, uh, he, he says in that book, I knew you before I knew you before you were in your mother's womb and I blessed you before you were born you were blessed there's nothing that is done by God without being blessed all of us are coming out of our mother's womb carrying blessings that God has given us the only thing that happens we have to access those blessings. And the only thing that debars, that, that debars us from accessing those, those, those blessings is how we think and how we act and what we love. What takes you to those blessings is the mind of God which you acquire when you stop hating other people. Because once you stop hating other people, then you will be able to think about your blessings. A man or a person that hates doesn't have time to think about his own blessings. Doesn't have time to access his own blessings. The only time he has is to pray for his enemies. He has time. He has time to curse enemies. He has time to rejoice over the fall of his enemies. And that person will not reach, will not access his blessings. Because the only time he has is to think about his enemies and is to curse more those he, he, he doesn't love. And the more you curse people is the more you are being cursed. And the more you are wishing bad, wishing bad for your fellow brothers is the more the bad comes to you. Now, if you want life, you must be in peace. Be at peace with your fellow brother. Because it doesn't matter what a person has done, it can be rectified. We have discussions, positive discussions that we make that build the family. In those positive discussions, all what we do is to cleanse ourselves. How are we cleansing ourselves? We declare what we don't like and we declare what we like. A person 
next to you must know very well what you like. Don't hide what you like. Don't hide what you love. Declare it that I love this so that everyone knows that so-and-so loves this. He will know that so-and-so doesn't like this because he loves this. But if you hide that and think that people will just prophesy and think you love something that you don't like, they won't. If people do not know about you, they will teach you to know about them. And in teaching, in teaching you to know about them, they will show you all your faults and hide theirs. We are here to preach the good news. And the good news is that your fellow brother loves you. And God loves you too. And if your mind is full of that, that your fellow brothers and sisters love you, you won't accept anything that, that is coming telling you that you are not loved. You know what the devil does? He will always strive to tell you and to convince you that you are not loved in this church. If you are not loved in this church, why were you called into this church? It's a lie. There's no one that is not loved in this church. If he's not loved, why, why was he called? Why were you called? Okay, fine. If, your person, if the person next to you doesn't love you, know one thing that God loves you. And if God loves you, whose love are you hiding? Whose love are, 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 are you yearning for? Whose love? One. Because love is that what God gives us. Now, if you have God in your life, what else do you want? If you have God in your life, there's nothing else that you need. So there's no need for your fellow sister to deliver any negative news to you. And if you allow yourself to be consumed by negative news, you, you will be a negative charge. And once you are a negative charge, you are going straight to hell. You will be destroyed. Because your utterances will not be palatable to God. Let me tell you, there's no one who will ever transgress against God. Because you cannot transgress against something that you don't see. But God became flesh. And if God became flesh, you must know a person next to you might be that God. <laughs> A lot of people on earth, a lot of believers are trying to dispute that Christ and Jesus are two people. Those are two spirits. The spirit of Christ was there even before Jesus was born. In the beginning, Christ created everything that you see because God used him to make all the creation. Now, if in the beginning Jesus was not yet born. Jesus was born by Mary. Jesus is a creature. Christ is not a creature. He was not created. He is the spirit where in God dwells. And where in God dwells, there's no creation. The creation is on earth. God created earth through Christ. And that word 
it became flesh. Meaning God became flesh. Now if God became flesh, it is the same God that you receive today through the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit therefore is the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Christ, now why do you transgress against your fellow brothers? Love. Rudo. Love Rudo. for each other will keep you alive. You were blessed even before you were born. You are very blessed today. You ought to be happy. The only thing that made me to come here is to unlock your blessings. We are in the in the year of restoration. Whatever you have lost during your cases, which of course was self-made by you, you will regain it today. But you must go go straight from now. Love your fellow brothers. Unite and be one. Receive no negative news. You will get nothing negative into your life. 
Take that is positive. And build the mind of God in you. And be of one mind with God. You are not a curse. You are a blessing from God. Live that life of being a blessing. Because you are a blessing. Access those blessings. Whether you believe it or not, they are all unlocked for you. Access them. This is a way. Repentance. It's a way, it's a vehicle which was created by Jesus Christ for us. He says, when you repent, when you repent and change your ways, God will get into your life and give you life. When you repent, is to move away from all the negative vibes you have found yourself in. Move away from that. Just look at what God has given you. It is easy in this church. We are just given a person. And then God says, He who blesses him will be blessed. He who curses him will be cursed. Refrain from blessing, from, from, from cursing him. Just refrain. Maybe you are going to say, if I say something which is unholy, which is bad unto this person, God never said, in his plate there, there are no bad things. In his bucket, basket, which was delivered unto Peter, there were vile things. He never said in this church, there are no vile things. But all what we are, we are boasting of, is that we are given power to remove the vile things. And that power is forgiveness through the Holy Spirit. I'm not saying your fellow brother will not by mistake trespass against you. But you have power in you to remove all that by forgiving her or him. Let's use that power. Let's clean the house of God. Let's clean our minds. Let me tell you this. The people have things they consider as sins. And God has things he considers as sins. Which are real sins. Tell, tell me. Do you say? Who is correct between these two people? There comes a person in flesh and he says, you are too many here. You need to be depopulated. Because if you are left like this, the, 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 the world will soon be, be, be overwhelmed by you. So it derives means to depopulate you. And he gives you the law that you mustn't give birth to anyone. Because the, the, the earth will soon be filled. And God says in that side, on the other hand, yeah, when he blessed you, he said you must increase in, the, in abundance. He said multiply. And, and subdue the earth. Which is the word of God here? Which one is right? Depopulation. Multiplication. Multiplication. Now, when, when, why when people multiply, you speak ill of them? Why, when God is multiplying his nation, you speak ill of the ones that have been born? Did you know that there's no person that is born by a human being? He is born through a human being, not by a human being. He is created by God and born through a human being. 
It is not the will of a human being that he gives child. If you ask some other women here, they will tell you, if you have a way to stop me from giving birth, I would love that. Meaning they are giving birth against their own will. So that thing is not controlled by any one of us here. You can get married and not receive any child. And a mad man just meets another person elsewhere and a child is born. And that child is a blessing to a mad man. <laughs> There's no child that is born who is not a blessing. That simply means you are also a blessing as we are sitting here. Now, as you are a blessing, bless other people because you are a blessing. Think good about other people and speak good of yourself and of other people. And the riches of God will be poured upon you. Whether you believe me or not, I'm blessing you now to access your blessing. I'm opening the gate which you closed so that you see the love of God in you. So that you can love yourself. You'll be able, therefore, to love your fellow brother as you love yourself. You cannot love other people when you can't love yourself. It starts by you. Uh, my flight today is one o'clock. It simply means I must be out of this place at, at 11 o'clock. Now it's about 11. Yes, you know, 11. But the apostles are still here to carry on with the thanksgiving. All what I'm delighted to tell, tell you is that as you go out of the stadium, you'll be walking on blessings. As you get into your work, you'll be walking into your blessings. As you are traveling around, blessings will follow you. And in front of you, God will open your way. And he will lead you to a place where your blessings are. Because your blessings are in front of you and I'll follow our mind must overwhelmed must be overwhelmed by that word that God loves us if you believe that God loves you know that all what comes to you is good because God is good may God Bless all of you. Increase his blessings and give you everything that you came here in need of. And everything that God has blessed you with must be upon your hand right now and give you that power that God has given us. We are his children. We shall walk according to his ways and depart from our own ways. And he shall reconcile us with all our enemies. Keep that, mark, keep that in mind. God is good and he loves us. And if God is good and that he loves us, you must see that in your officers, in your fellow brothers, in your fellow sisters, you must know that they love you. They love you. And you have a duty to love them in return.
Inai kunampostol gache su Kristo Genesis izono zene nizqonda yo nene ngaziqonda izixolela egameni lothi qise nelonyana nelomo yinxwele amen
Sai se c'è un lugo a Pam Soro Paco. E se va a Saro Zano, lo guavo, tu vem catmen baiavo sevenze. No gam sira cipo, so me asson districted as varanasi. Cipo ici, cipo so cubuda no cuvaca, kereke amari, no cuchegate za lugo amar. Usa buda o siena grovaca, ma community ma swam catmokura maquaco. Ugo bacegate za ma community zuao, de moyo noda. Orgo può assimbar un catimaco, nasce una curlo, una baba, una cucaza, nasce. Cutuve si remba un catime in Baia Israele. In zira, corno blam catimum romo, uaco, uno va moto. Acuna bea caipa, in gato cocuna, con anguissa, un gato rotunga miril. In zira, con assistava e jexen. Roba e arci pulsa moto, spizam catimeva. Carausitaura, in zira, corsa mosa, ma fupa carara. Put Garava singing vans, when Zirako, Vano Muka, Vago Pupura Pam Soroka, Kokunika, Yova Muswa, Nukuna Kusimba in Zrak, Rukas and Asis at the Silt and Katmen by your apostle. Zino, Nemesis Singer Perry, Amen. Sanum Katmo Pinwak, Usavona Kufura, Zipos Ripas Paco, Kufura, Mutikon, Mprista, Community Elder, District Elder, Rugas and Nasa Overseer Kat Member, Air Apostle, Musekam Shed, Nanga Yakarbo Fazwa, Nanga Yepam Soro, a specialized doctor, Usango Sengeta Imba, Yavanava Israeli. I will walk a father on Gosi Parudo, no farum cat be bad vessel. Some second sin of a farm of putra zoses, Gaibam cat bama comintus. In the Robinam cat bomro moma con garro pafaz. In the Robinam cat bomro moma con garver no cuza. In the Romro moma con garver no ziva cori cuva. 
Amen. Amen, Amen, Amen. He turned a Ugovala session. Do you know that in the Vara session, you know? Ugoze, Mikwaz, wonderful like session and land alive. Continue going up for a session in Otever. Gifuna ni kumbulele ndo mangpuma la. Ndoda utumuranga rechini shikanchi papano. Ogoti bonke abantu baya fana pam gobu sobu kankulungkulu. Utuvanu ose vano fana na pachi socha mwari. Gwato abalingani. Kwete avana kuinzano. Umanga aba ingondo yenu. Dae mfungwa zenyu. Ingani chela uguta bantu njoba befana balinga na niapaza. Dae mama mchitiwa nusu sio waka fana na waka inzana mwenye mshikanga nisa. Ngoba gomo ya oinguele nenzwe unkulunku ulpagat kwenye kwangulunku. Nogu tisomo ya mchele zake tu alikuwa kwa mwari papa mwenye hii mwari. Gomo waka fana na waka inzana mwenye mshikanga nisa. Ngoba gomo ya oinguele nenzwe unkulunku ulpagat kwenye kwangulunku. Nogu tisomo ya mchele zake tu alikuwa kwa mwari papa mwenye hii mwari. God wa nilinga anu nkulunku. Asa mwinza ni namu hari kunyange makasi kwa ni mwe ya wamari. Njongo ba nawe uzelu ya bazali bako. Njongo ya uwe waka soko wa nawabiriki wako. Ni afana na bazali bako. Ba abantu na umunu. Wakafana na wabiriki wako vanu ni uwe urimunu. God wa nilinga anu. Asa mwina kuinza anu. Gunga agu nkulunku le no mteto oti bega wisho no nyoko. Ndoso ka mwarivani mtemo no tukuza baba wako na mai wako. Uguzi mita yako ya ande. Kutimakura wako wawezi kupanya. Wakafana yoga Neba nyengo moyo watwa. Maganza na nungu ya umwe cheche. Kwa tuwa kutu logo ni alinga. Asko kutu asa muinza anu. Bakona bazalwane, bakona teate, bakona bazalwane, bakona osaptiken, bakona... Mariko wanu nesupozo wa maanza tsikana anza tsikomana. Shoni panani. 
Uyofagamanjangapagatwe Ngoba in course, my prams of so by Piz Gwen. Yen's of so by Bukanya Piz Gwen in Nikrina, in Ilondo Lose, Manja Gusegbe Pagati Amen. Fair Fenno Tandalo Chikubao, Budjeron Kamoen Wele, Mapumlan and Manja Gusegbe Pagati Amen. Singena Gusession Gay Speed. Tagwind of Session is Piri. Lay Session Sivalela Lebes if I give. Session Piri no Fara is your data is a Sivulela Gamanje. Tag for us, you know. Lay a spill. E. H. Piri. Ye do me so Gankulunko. Kurubizamari. This is what you get my You know, you can I spare. Giving young Gena, a motin, a bin a motgari. Gia airport. Dinner way airport. I assure you. Do not go good eye. No more cabang with the airport. Chenifu and Rukinda Kayport. Giaguz, Drukundo Kunswa. Goba Lomo and a pagat way to put me out in Catman. Munye, Mwechete. Young and Tenio Yenzala. Yenz and to appear to your best ability. She tell no more in yours. Goba Loni Menzela. Who to a Murkitira? Unga pagat to win. Urum Catman. Who says none? Who get a name? I've never been seen so happy. And the number of us is Zimbabwe. Munom Zimbabwe. No bagibona itel. Zibona spereko. Zigankulungu. Zamari. La na sa figa si ufo. Paya chaskira tiri chaisu katiri fo. Wagu ime na ngamba na lamato tomato. Kwa ene amwe warme watatu. Ah pila matatu. Aye. Aye matatu na aye mabi. Oh aye matatu. But kwa matatu. Uchon. Namazo chon wa laika. Namazo wa chuni mi muno. Kube untonga lo. Babantonga. Kube u u untobongwa. Babantobongwa. That's why ingi tia beze. Dosa kanchi tingawa uye. Guti ala bi chipi lele. Udara wariko. Abazu guti istel unkulunku la baniga sana singa ganan. Abazu guti shperiko sawa shaka kasi. Lana Zimbabwe. Muno Zimbabwe. Gifunu bong. Gibonga is Negun Kulunkulas Negazon, Zimbabwe, Munum Zimbabwe, Uma Begungazon, Neva Sidiva, Nabagu Kunji, Des Nagudai, Gifunu Bong, Gudabutenda, Lobu Holun Kulunkulas Negabon, Lukuna Baba Marpaga Tipa, Lana is Zimbabwe, Munum Zimbabwe, Uma Begungabon, Neva Sidiva, Gagunga Kunji, Des Nagudai, Gifunu Bong, Gudabutenda, In Lebezen, Zenu. Gogosogam Kela is Ligan Kulunko, we have the Terra in Zuramari, Goba Uma Bunganjalo, Nesa Sinabudaro, Gagunga Kunji, Nesa Sinabudai, Goba Bonke Labantu, Bosevana, Ine Nabaham Lena Balanda, Isma Catera Vaniva, Unculunku Lagani Busis and a Pandem, Nikul and Agumi, Gures, Puru, Gifunukbo, Gunakutenda, Gifunukbo, Abandek Tala Batala Bella. Doctor, I want to go to the house. 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 I want to go to the house
Sino mabu chingwe la. Abaga chingwe. Abaga katal. Abasa precious ever. Baacha kasiimba. Se abonga kuhu mposto. Tino tena baba. Sibonga kuhu. Tino tena mposto. Oma se o oma se hamba la. Kana chifamba. Se ukanda zela mposto. Tino kuna matira mposto. Ogut lom sebe nzunga kuhu kula kuniga zao. Jimbasa rama kapa nuno mposto. Ugua zuku handleish. Mu kone kubata. Baza gona. Don't worry about them. Abantu wana bayona. Ours is to forgive them. It's not to fight them. Bazo paza. Ogwe etu. Ogut mabe mesa apa. Siba sule. Mbaba abantu wana bietu na. Uti kwa kusesi. Ganyi nendwe yako. Na zozo onke isebenzo sebenza na. Gifunu bonga. Obabu mashok. Tobu. Tenda baba mashonga. Eh, Engilan. Bari ku England. Weas maunga ale wetwa. Kana ori kogori woka. Usata naka kufige. Usata naka kushikira. Ukaba ngutbonke labantu abako. Unofungwa nwano osa abako. Kanta kubona bako labantu. Asa ako, abasi wako. Abantu kulungu ulateba koke. Mudimu aranu watu nga mirira. Gotu sa mile na manche. Asi waka ngo mirira na manche. Abantu anabaka ngulungu lusabazu kuti abantu anabaka ngulungu. Bana umu aranu ngo zaatu wana umu. Asu mbo nge mposti ol nga lo. Kubatanangakuande. Unity is strength. Unity kubata na isimba. Kubata na isimba. Yeah. Kubata na isimba. Kubata na isimba. Pinchalo ke kan kulun kulun le. Yaka darun zi ya mwari. Bonge ya kol. Kino ten. Kiye na matomo. Kiye na wa mafele. Lo yo kiya. Kill you, no, I'm a tomato. Kill you.